move on to HCR 147, HR 147, requesting the Drug Enforcement Administration assist the Department of Health with obtaining a federal exemption for the state authorized use of cannabis in Hawaii. Uh, first up, we have Occupy Cannabis Consulting in support. Good morning, Chair, Vice Chair, members of the committee. Thank you for the opportunity to testify in support of this measure. My name is Dr. Clifton Otto. Uh, I will stand on my written testimony and I just wanted to highlight uh, a small uh, change that I'm proposing, basically just for accuracy uh, uh, that deals with, with the history behind uh, this resolution. So anyway, thank you very much for considering this important measure and I will be available for any questions. Aloha. Thank you. Uh, next up, we have Devon Ward. Aloha, Chair uh, Yamane, uh, Vice Chair Tan, Representative Capella, Representative Ward. Uh, my name is Devon Ward. I'm Senior Legislative Counsel at the Marijuana Policy Project, the, the largest marijuana policy reform organization in the U.S. I'm also uh, a resident of the state of Hawaii. I'm here to testify um, with some comments on HCR147. Um, it's a little bit perplexed about this resolution uh, because while, while Title 21, specifically Section 1300 of the Code of Federal Regulations, does allow individual persons to apply for exemptions for registering with the Drug, Drug Enforcement Administration, none of the provisions in Title 21 apply to state or local governments. Uh, moreover, the state of Hawaii is not engaged in the conduct prescribed in Title 21, specifically manufacturing, distribution, dispensing, importation, or exportation of cannabis or any other controlled substance. Hawaii, like 30 other states in the country, only licenses individuals and businesses to manufacture, distribute, dispense, uh, and import cannabis. This approach is consistent with the authorization provided to states by the Walter Roar Far Amendment, which pro prohibits the DOJ from spending funds to interfere with the implementation of state medical cannabis laws. Um, this has been the law of the land since 2014, adopted in every subsequent spending bill by Congress since then. Um, and the Roger Roar Amendment became law, but... Um, the, the Department of Justice actually interpreted that amendment incorrectly, but even that interpretation allows state officials to be protected from prosecution by the DOJ. Um, and some states through their agents or entities have never been the ire of the Department of Justice or DEA for their licensing of medical cannabis businesses. Um, in 2016, the DOD, DOJ's interpretation uh, was rejected by the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals as well in separate cases consolidating the appeals of 10 medical cannabis providers in states of California and Washington. And that unanimous ruling has become binding with nine states in the Ninth Circuit, including Hawaii. Um, most recently, Joe Biden became the first president to propose a budget with the Rochester for Amendment included. And Merrick Garland, our current attorney general, has also said that they're not going to prosecute states for, for lawful medical cannabis use. I just think this resolution is is unnecessary. The, the DOH has, has a ton of duties they have to do otherwise um, and would recommend opposition to this uh, resolution. Thank you for the time. Thank you. Um, that is all that we have um, signed up to testify. Um, members, any questions? Rep Ward? Uh, Dr. Otto, are you there? Yes, I am, Representative Dr. Otto, uh, thank you for your persistence in pursuing this matter. I know as a constituent, you have uh, tirelessly pursued uh, protection of your medical marijuana applicants. If we pass this, will you and the others live happily ever after? In other words, how much down the field are we, we really putting the, the ball, if, if I may? Sure, um, thank you for the question. Um, I feel that this resolution is important because it follows up on the legislature's uh, intent and will to do something about this unacceptable situation with the federal conflict. And, and as you know, last session, uh, both chambers of the legislature unanimously adopted HCR 132, which asks the Department of Health to file a federal exemption application with the DEA. We're still waiting uh, on that uh, action from the Department of Health. But in the meantime, I believe that this resolution allows the legislature to continue to express its will that this is something that needs to be addressed. Of course, it's not binding upon the DEA. It's simply making the DEA aware that this is an issue that the legislature wants to be addressed. And perhaps that would help uh, the Department of Health feel more comfortable about opening up a dialogue with the DEA to uh, allow some type of progress to be made. Thank you for your testimony and persistence. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very Thank much. You. Uh, members, any other questions? Seeing none, 